welcome to another booktube video from me, Lauren from Lauren and the Books. And today I'm going to be doing an individual book review of The Vegetarian by Han Kang. Although, Han Kang or Han Kang? Han Kang, because that's like my southeastern English voice says it. Um, this is a Korean um, author. It was translated by Deborah Smith, who, and I've just seen on the BBC website, only started learning Korean, only started teaching herself Korean in 2010. Imagine that. Imagine teaching yourself a language and then being able to translate a Man Booker International Prize winning book a mere six years later. Probably less than that. Five years later because it was uh, published in 2015. This book. I love this book. I absolutely loved it. Now there was hype, 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 hype about this book on booktube for a long, long time. Um, I think the first time I saw it was on Jean's Bookish Thoughts channel in October last year and around Christmas time I was like, I need to read this. So I put a um, request on it on the library, um, at my local library and there was like two copies making its way around something like 67 requests uh, in, in the area that I live in and it finally got to me um, not last weekend the weekend before and I picked it up two days ago and I finished it now it is a short book it's 183 pages um, but I just could not put this down it's absolutely compelling read amazing but before we get started on what's in here which I love I'm gonna talk about what's on here which I love so this cover is probably one of my favourite book covers. It's creepy, but it is so good. So, on the, I showed this to David just then. I was like, look at this book cover, isn't it lovely? Knowing that I knew the stuff that was on there. And he was like, oh my god, yeah, that's pretty. They're pretty flowers. And then he was like, oh, is that, is that a hand? And I was like, yeah, that's a hand. Is, is that an eyeball? I was like, yeah, that's an eyeball. So... This book has, on, on the front cover, has um, beautiful orchids, which are in the story. I will talk about those later. Uh, but amongst it, it has things like a tongue here. There's a blood splat there. There's an eyeball. There's a hand. There's a massive piece of meat. I do not know what this metal contraption is. If somebody does know, we were trying to work it out, weren't we? And we couldn't work out what it is. We don't know what this is. A fly on it. And it's just such a beautiful cover. The cover was done by... Tom Darricott. Well done, Tom Darricott. I've seen a few um, editions of this, but this is my favourite. There's also a really beautiful red one with a woman's silhouette on the front, and also one with wings on, I believe. Of all the editions I've seen are beautiful, but this is my favourite, and that's why when I got this from the library, I was delighted because I didn't know what cover I was going to get. And I was like, yay, yay, yay! So, the front cover's wonderful. Inside the book is also bloody wonderful. It is a brilliant, compelling read. I could not put this down, and but at the same time, I wanted to carry on reading it slowly so that I could get, so I could enjoy it more. So it tells the story of, and I'm going to murder this name, and I'm so, so sorry. It tells the story of Hai Yong. Let me just see. Let me just find it, just in case I'm saying this wrong. Oh fuck! I've said it wrong already. Yung Hai, <laughs> Yung Hai. Um, she is a Korean woman who decides to become a vegetarian, which is completely unheard of in South Korea. And her family react to this very badly. Her husband reacts to this very badly, and everyone sort of looks at her like like she's a little bit mad that she's decided to do this. And nobody really knows why she's done this, but it turns out that it's because she's had this dream and it also harks back to some uh, memories from her childhood, things that happened um, with regards to meat then and um, we find out a bit later on that she hasn't had the best upbringing ever. Um, it is told from three perspectives. That is the part of this that I love. So none of these perspectives are ha Young Hai herself. The, it is told from firstly the perspective of her husband who is a wet fish let me tell you um, and then the perspective of her brother-in-law and then the perspective of her sister and none of these um, none of these narrations really overlap a period of time um, so they were all sort of told from different times they refer back to things that have happened but none of them sort of like overlap so it, you get a really widespread of things that are happening from three different points of view and that structure I absolutely loved because it just you just got so much information like considering this is such a short book there's just so much information also there's some bloody horrific stuff that happens in this book so if you've got trigger warnings of pretty much everything violence rape um animal cruelty Minnie not a girl what's she got in her mouth David Oh, just a pack of ibuprofen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's got a pack of ibuprofen. 
Um, those are the sort of trigger warnings that are going on here. So there's lots of like trigger warnings in here. Um, but the overall feel of the book is, although it's creepy and like you're waiting for something to happen, the overall feel of the book is quite a calm one, which sounds really weird. It's very sort of tranquil. Um, and that just made for amazing reading. And I just, I never found a point in this where I was like, oh, I could happily put this down and come back to it. I was like, oh my God, what's gonna, <laughs> it was very like slow build and things like that. I adored this. This is by far the best book that I've read this year. And I absolutely was so happy because the hype around it was amazing. And we all know how I felt about my brilliant friend and the hype around that. Um, so I was really, really hoping that this was gonna um, live up to it. And I can, I've only just finished it and I already ready want to reread it. That's how strongly I feel about it. Um, but yeah, I really, really loved it and I would urge people to read it. If for, for a book, when in the past, if I got told a book had been sort of like man booker nominated, I'd be a bit like, oh, so, does that mean it's going to be a bit heavy? This is not heavy at all. This is a really, really accessible book um, and a, a, an easy read, um, I would say. Like, I didn't struggle at any point. There's some sort of like confusion with... Um, Young Hai's, um, like w when she's speaking in the first part, like it's not her speaking, but you get some to hear about some of her dreams and things like that. And there's a bit of confusion there that took me a bit of time to like, oh, let me settle into this. But I love this, the structure, the subject matter. I've never read anything like it that was uh, that would um, would look at the would look at the subject of vegetarianism in this sort of context. And um, although like the, the main message throughout this isn't that a vegetarianism, it's that of a, a poor woman having a horrific mental decline. Um, the way in which it's dealt with, it really sort of eases you in and takes you on a sort of like windy story road of like what, where this is gonna happen. And yeah, I just, I love this and I'm so, so <laughs> impressed with it. And I would urge anybody to read it. And especially seeing as it's just won the Man International Book, um, the Man Booker International Prize, I was reading it when it won and I was like, oh, how wonderful, how topical. I'm reading this and it's just won the Man International Man Booker Prize. So very, very happy it won. Uh, very, very, very happy it won. So absolutely thrilled. So um, has anybody else read this? I imagine if you're on Booktube, you've probably read this. This has been going on for ages. <laughs> like, it's been going around for ages. I feel like I'm really, really late to the party. But I thought it'd be a great time to do a review on it just because it has just won the um, International Man Booker Prize. And I absolutely loved it. And I couldn't not make a big deal about it. I couldn't not do it. So if you've read this and you loved it, then let me know. If you've read this and you weren't too keen, then let me know. I'd love to have a chat with it, uh, uh, with you all about it in the comments. Tell me what you loved about it. Tell me what you didn't love about it. Um, who has read Human Acts? I um, am looking forward to reading that as well. I believe that's the only other novel at the moment that is translated from Korean by, by Hong Kong. Um, so I am looking forward to reading that as well. And that has been it for this Wednesday. And I will see you all again soon with another booktube video. Goodbye!